The Malinowskis government ministry has been sworn in at a ceremony in the South Australian capital today. Four ministers could not attend because they were isolating. 17 parliamentarians were sworn into roles at Government House in Adelaide. Four joined via web link because they either had COVID or were close contacts. Thank you. The Premier chose not to take on any ministerial portfolios, in contrast to his predecessor Stephen Marshall. My view is that it's a mistake when Premiers load themselves up on, on portfolios, which means they actually aren't able to fulfil those responsibilities with the attention they deserve, let alone the function of leading the state. Independent MP Jeff Brock became emotional when he was sworn in as an unexpected Minister of the Labor government. I get personally involved with my people when they come into my office. I get personally involved with some of the issues and my partner and my kids say to me, get stronger. But I'm sorry, sorry, I can't, I can't get stronger. Um, I'm just a passionate person and, uh, and I feel for the people who come in my office. I, I cry with them, I, I go on the journey with them and that's what you, what you see is what you're going to get from me. All parties involved are adamant he wasn't offered any ministerial sweeteners before election day. Eight women were sworn in but the party faced criticism not enough women were given important roles within the team despite many winning seats at the election. We don't reward people for forming government. We put people on the front bench as they're ready and as opportunities come up and as the talent is required. But all of those women, I can guarantee at some point, will be on the front bench. Former federal backbencher Nick Champion was immediately promoted to the ministry after making a shift to state politics. Joel Phillips, Sky News, Adelaide.